Hello there, my friend. Welcome to the fire. Got quite a, um, interesting story for you here. The Dragonborn player pulled the race card, r slash RPG horror stories, posted by Lengthiness Public 575. I honestly debated whether or not I should even post this story. I ended up concluding that this was a story that I should post. Just know that I felt that this was the right thing to do. About a month ago, I started an online D&D 5th edition campaign in a homebrew world via Discord. There were four players, but two of them are really the center point of this story. That being the changeling illusionist wizard and the problem player, a dragonborn devotion paladin. The other two players were the human battlesmith artificer and the Asimar twilight cleric. Session Zero went well and everyone had a good laugh and pretty much got along with one another. I love helping players with character creation and am somewhat lenient with character alignment, so when the Paladin player told me he wanted to be a lawful good character, I was all for it, but informed him not to go overboard. He agreed and finished up his character along with the other players. The first session was where the players and myself ended up with problems. The group started off in the country's capital of my world, standard Mediterranean setting. They were set off on a quest by a duke to deliver an archaeological relic, Ospian Dagger, to a research facility near the coast of town. The quest in turn would award the players with a small amount of gold and connections to NPCs for future information. After a run-in with an underground syndicate, a hag disguised as a researcher, and small amounts of foreshadowing, my players complete the quest. The group overall helped each other quite a bit, having good character role-playing skills, communicated with each other quite well, and developed camaraderie very fast. The problem player Paladin was good and I didn't expect anything was wrong at all. His Dragonborn was a typical strong quiet no nonsense type that had good banter with the wizard. The problem arise from when the party split into twos with the Paladin and wizard going one way while the other two players went the other. The wizard and Paladin entered a magic store and were greeted by a halfling shopkeep. Nope. I am a very lenient DM who doesn't restrict my players to certain items, but I don't give it to them on a silver platter. I leave it up to my players to be creative in a way which they're able to acquire such items. If they can think of a very clever and innovative way of getting the things that they want, then I will allow it. I also don't worry about players breaking the game. Eventually, sometime sooner or later, every DM will have a player that will try and break the game, so I in turn learn to roll with it. The wizard was interested in a robe of useful items that was at a price of 100 gold. A very steep price for my players who roughly have about 50 to 80 gold pieces each at the time. The wizard, after a few failed negotiations, decided to cast Charm Person on the shopkeep to get a better deal. The paladin, in turn, made a perception check to see what was going on and rolled a critical success seeing the wizard do this. The paladin, in turn, cast a level 1 smite behind the wizard along with Great Weapon Master, rolling yet again another critical success which would have turned the mage into Ground Hamburger. Of course, me along with the other players were taken aback by this. I asked him, why would his character do this? In turn, he responded with the classic, that's what my character would do. The rest of the party, including myself, simultaneously sighed in frustration. I thought to myself, I've dealt with players like this before. I know how to approach them. Boy, was I wrong. Me, dude. I'm not saying that's not what a paladin would do, but you have to understand that D&D is a game about cooperation and teamwork. You need to understand that you're playing this game with other people too, so you don't have the right to go overboard like this and kill other players' characters for casting Charm Person. At this point, I feel like I established what I needed to say to him and I was going to ask the Paladin player if he wanted to reconsider what he did. But then he said this before I could ask. Paladin player, 
It's because me and my character are black, isn't it? You're discriminating against me because I'm an oppressed minority, so you think you have the right to tell me what to do, don't you? When he said that, me and the rest of the party went completely silent for a good minute. I suspect the other players were in shock over what he said. I myself was sitting in front of my desk, clenching the arms in my chair, my blood boiling. I didn't know that Paladin Player was black in real life prior to when he said that, nor did I really care. I myself am a person of color, Mexican American to be exact, that comes from a very large and diverse family with some of my other family members being part black and some being white. So for him to have the gall to say that, needless to say, I was very offended and extremely pissed off that he said that. Somehow, by some miracle, I was able to hold in my anger and not completely tell this guy off for weaponizing his skin color. Me. Alright then. If you feel that way, then you could go ahead and find a different group to join. Because at this point, I don't see you playing in my server anymore. Paladin player. What? Are you kidding me? Just because I'm speaking the truth about the everyday struggles of being black is enough to kick me from the server? You should check your white privilege. Me, on the verge of unleashing hell on this guy. Not that it's any of your business, but I'm actually not white. I'm actually Mexican American, so if anyone has a problem with you being black, it's you. Paladin player. Dot, dot, dot complete silence for three or so minutes. After a few minutes, I just ended up kicking and banning this individual from the server. I ended up reconning the events of the Paladin and what he was about to do. A couple of weeks have passed and we ended up getting a new player, a half-orc zealot barbarian who gets along with the group even better than before. I talked it over with the other players of what they thought of the whole situation and my actions. Overall, they ended up agreeing with what I did and said that keeping my cool was the right thing to do, despite me wanting to yell at him with every fiber of my being. At the end of the day, I was very proud of myself for being the better person of that whole situation. Ooh, wow, um, mm. Let's first start off with, while reacting to the charm person spell in that context could be considered lawful good, but then taking it to the extent of what the paladin did was being a lawful a-hole. Also, I gotta say, I think people misunderstand the spell Charm Person, at least how it is in D&D 5th edition. The caster isn't outright controlling a person's will like a puppet, as most people think it is. It's more like the target of the spell just becomes more friendly towards the caster. They won't outright murder someone for the caster, but they might give them a good discount on an item or help them into a party that they weren't invited to. Now what the Paladin did there was just outright being a murder hobo, and the fact that they were lawful good, I say it was totally out of character alignment. And the whole race card thing. Honestly, it's kinda sad in situations like this where there was absolutely no reason to go there, it had to go there. When people cry racism when there was no need to, it cheapens it. You know, it's like the boy who cried wolf. There's actual racism in the world that we should stand up to. This was not it, and shame on that player who tried to make this a thing when it wasn't. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. And would you kindly follow the socials posted in the description below. As always, be good, be great, be awesome.